Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well, as always. Today, uh, we're doing another recipe that's been submitted through the website from Jordan, so thank you so much for that. Uh, on the screen right now should hopefully be uh, the final product, which I haven't made yet. Uh, it's supposed to be an egg and avocado bacon wrapped bomb thing. Uh, it seems like very easy ingredient wise, uh, but it could be tricky. I don't know, we're gonna try and find out. And well, you've seen it already. It hopefully looks all right. If it doesn't, either way, it should taste good. After last week's microwave mug cake thing, uh, this was another request, as I say, and I will be working my way through them. So if you've got any other ideas, do let me know down below or via the website. It's really nice. Kind of helps me not have to think of everything all the time. But the thing that really caught my eye about this is you need minimal ingredients. You need eggs from a chicken's bum or other egg laying bird. Ostrich egg would be a bit big. This one looks like it's seen better days. Some streaky bacon. Now I've bought extra uh, because I know that I might actually uh, make a mistake or two. So just in case, plus it's bacon, isn't it? Mm. Unless you're vegan or vegetarian. Possibly the most fiddly ingredient of all, uh, the third and uh, really final ingredient are avocados. So I've got three large ripe avocados here. I'm just keeping them in the fridge for the time being because I want to keep them nice and firm. I don't tend to get on very well with avocados. They tend to get quite mushy and uh, discolour quite quickly. So I've also uh, got myself a lemon uh, just in case, because the acidity in that can help it uh, go brown less quick. Other than that, the kitchen is very nearly done. Uh, one of my videos this week is gonna be a kitchen uh, walkthrough. I think I might get Chloe to do that. I think it'd be quite funny, but I'm gonna show you some of the cool things that we've got going on here. There's so much space now, and it actually feels bigger than before. It's crazy. Uh, so let's get on and make this. First thing we do is uh, get our eggs simmering. And the water simmers and the egg cooks. You know what I mean. All right, so we've got a saucepan first of all. We're gonna fill it up with water. So I'm bringing it up to a steady simmer. So what we're gonna do uh, with our eggs is we're gonna try and soft boil them, okay? So when we slice into it later, the yolk will just ooze out. And the way we do that is we cook it so we can get the shell off it, uh, the egg white's all cooked, but the middle is, is still yolky. And that's no yolk. Sorry, I haven't got a motorbike, but I do avocado. Enough puns. Now when an egg's been boiling in water, it's still gonna have that heat in it that will continue to cook it if you just leave it to one side. So we're gonna, sh why am I doing that with my hand so much? Sorry. We're gonna shock it, okay? In short, basically have a bowl with some ice water to one side that we can plunge our cooked eggs into. That water is now up to a lovely simmer. It's just little ribbles. Son, I don't know that one. What? Why does my Alexa Keep uh, like just randomly talking to me. I don't know if you heard that, but I do need it in a minute because this is now the water is simmering. It's like little ripples, something like that. So I'm just turning it down. So it's at a nice sort of steady heat. You don't want to chuck our eggs into like roaring tidal waves of bubbling lava. It's just a nice gentle tickle on the egg. I'm going to give myself a good opportunity for this to hopefully work. So I'm actually going to do probably four eggs right now. I would do all of them, but I want to use the rest for a recipe tonight, and also, I haven't got enough bacon for that. Alexa, set a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, starting now. Brilliant, and I'm really sorry for everyone else's that have just gone up and set off your timer in six minutes time. That's just gently bubbling away. Let's get our uh, ice water ready. Just letting this bubble away. As some people sometimes say to me, Barry, when you like change your kitchen layout, which has happened a couple of times, does it take you a while to adjust when you're filming? Yes, it does. I'm finding this a little bit like, where is things, where do I stand right now? But as always, you know that it doesn't really matter where I stand. It's, it's quite rustic here. That timer feels like it's been set for like 20 minutes and still hasn't gone off. Hope. Oh, it's literally just gone off. All right. So, heat off. Egg. Oh. Oh my gosh, you can imagine what that egg feels like. It's like, ah, oh, that was hot in there. Let it cool down. But this cool tub, effectively the opposite of a hot tub, is already working. It's cooling those eggs right down while those eggs look massive. <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's the angle on the bowl. Uh, but that is brilliant. It's going to stop them cooking. Okay, so this is some nice, ah, smoky uh, stripped bacon. Strips of bacon, rashers. I'm going to lie them out on a board, but not all together at the moment, okay? So what happens... When you cook bacon, it tends to shrink. And there's other ways around it sometimes when you make things where you can put cocktail skewers to hold it together. But one good way is to kind of press it down so it kind of stretches it, or we can roll it out with a rolling pin. So a bit of cling film down on top. You don't really want to put too much pressure on it. You don't want to break it or anything like that, but just a gentle roll. 
from one end. You probably can't see it too much, but that has actually increased it a little bit. So anything we can do like that to try and cheat the system, we might as well try it. One thing we need to do is not tell any of the big companies about that though. Otherwise what they'll do is start pressing their bacon out and going, look, super triple XL bacon for double the price. No. Whilst the sleeping pug doesn't realize there's bacon right by it, I've overlapped about nine strips together, just slightly overlapping to create a bacon raft. I'm leaving the avocado till last minute. This is a, just a little uh, lemon and lime squeezer gadget that I've got, you guys have seen it before. Lemon juice in there will help, as I said before, about the discolorization. So I'll keep that to one side. I've also got one of my most favorite gadgets, which I mentioned in a recent gadget video, uh, for um, getting the avocado out. But with the lemon juice ready, and just before we do get the avocados out, the eggs should now have cooled down enough to get the shell off them. Excellent. I'm just gonna be very cautious with my eggs. You can do the whole <laughs> trick. I've done that before. I've done that several times because you guys like it. Oh, that feels really nice. One egg done, and that does feel, to be fair, soft boiled, it's very squidgy. Bacon, soft boiled eggs just sat there chilling, lemon juice with a brush. I have my avocado tool, which I can use in a moment, but we wanna cut it in half, which is gonna go through the stone. Uh, so we're gonna have to really put some weight on this. Woohoo, you see? Because that is what we want. That's where our eggs are gonna go, okay? Now, hopefully, yes, I can use my avocado tool to, I mean, you can do this with a spoon. Wow, this is tough. Cause it's so firm from the fridge. Loosen off the jacket, so to speak. Ah, oh, come on now. I think we need to get the stone out before we take the peel off because I might disturb this now. Ah, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. That's done it, but it's much easier, I would imagine, to get the stone out first before you've got that squishy end, okay? So just to stop it discoloring, I'm gonna brush it with a little bit of lemon juice. This is very rough, okay? Make sure you get it all in the cavity bit as well. Let's just try, oh look. Yeah, in the shell, 100% scoop your stone out first. To be fair, this one's a lot softer now as well. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Ah, apart from that little speck, let's take that off. And there we go, our second holy half. So this is my small half. The egg is kind of sat in there, but it needs a bit more. This is a much deeper section, see? So I can try placing my egg into it. Oh, <laughs> this is so weird. It needs to be a bit wider. That is a very fragile egg as well. Yeah, it might even be best to do this step whilst it's still in the shell, actually. I just got avocado on my camera, brilliant. Uh, I've sat one egg half in like that, and look, it's nearly, <laughs> I just wanna keep it like that. Um, you guys get the drill now, I'm just gonna keep working away at this just to core it down so it sits in and we hide the egg. Are you ready for this? Here is our egg. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can press it down to properly seal it in place, but that is it. <laughs> That's probably the weirdest thing I've done in a while. So what I'm gonna do, I need to do this while I've got it in my hand here, though it's quite messy. I'm gonna sit it on my bacon. What I'm doing is getting my bacon, might have a bit too much here, and just rolling it over. Oh my gosh, food scissors. Oh yes, and now I can just kind of tuck it all in. To be honest, I'm fairly happy with that. We'll see how we go. Uh, now we're gonna get a pan of oil and cook this bacon off. So there is nothing flashy about this, folks. We uh, are just gonna give it like a little shallow layer uh, of vegetable oil. We're gonna get this warm and we're gonna place it so it's the seam side that we rolled facing down first. So hopefully that'll seal it in place. And we've even got some spectators there and there. Boston, I see you. Seam side down. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again, but this time I'm not gonna roll my bacon out as much. Here is number two. I've kind of uh, wrapped around it and then sealed around the side as well to seal in the seals, but, oh, I don't know. 
Just getting the initial seal on. I'm not feeling confident about this at all. This, that one failed. My kitchen is a complete mess. I've just been out to the shop and got some more bacon. Uh, this video should be up tonight. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna go up and either way, if it fails, I'm gonna still put it up. But if it's up a little bit late, now you'll know why. But I went and bought some cocktail skewers and some string. We are gonna tie that bacon on. It's the last thing I do. I don't even know what that thing is, but I'm gonna try and fry it anyway. <laughs> I can get most of the shape sealed in. That might do it. It's working. It didn't work. Ah, right, string. Fairly happy with that actually. The string is holding it together and stopping the avocado from moving, which moves the bacon. Sussed it. Although my egg might be well done now. <laughs> I don't know whether the class this is a fail or not. <laughs> I think I'm not going to get it any better than this, to be honest. The string has helped hold it together, except when I took it out, this bit just flopped off there. I think the whole thing just wants to fall off the avocado. I'm actually more thinking about whether the egg is still intact or not. So I think that's how we'll conclude this video. <laughs> I have a knife here if I need it. But I don't think I will because the halves just keep wanting to fall apart. So I think the way we will determine if this is a success, just take this final bit of string off, is if the egg is still at least a little bit runny. Oh, <laughs> it's coming out of its skin. But you know what? I'm going to take that as a pass, you know. I mean, that's, that's looking amazing right now. I love that look. I think it looks brilliant. It's just the actual casing keeps falling off. But hey, I guess you can grab it and stuff. But I think this is really your chance if you want to take on this challenge to make it and show me that yours looks better than mine. Oof. So that was a pretty darn good workout. Um, I should be pretty excited about this, shouldn't I? But I, I, I am really excited, but I'm just kind of part relieved as well, but also part like, huh? or why, or hmm. <laughs> so you've kind of like got your own little cup holder with the bacon and the egg in there. It's gonna taste amazing, I know it is. Mmm, mmm. My word, that was insanely good. That was actually worth it. You know, next time, oh yeah, in fact, once I start recording, I'm probably gonna season it, a little bit of salt and pepper. Maybe like line it, so it's smoky bacon, so it's super good. But if you don't, you can rub paprika. Oh, on there, or any sort of spices and herbs you want. I've got a bit of lemon juice left over. I might just put some of that on it. Ooh, good. So there we go then, folks. As you can see, I've got quite the tidying up to do. It's got a little bit bonkers in here this morning. Actually caught me by surprise. That's at the start, three ingredients going to be so simple. It will be a bit more of a project, but I really do hope you try it. Don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun and press the bell button to be notified of new videos. Follow me at My Virgin Kitchen for all behind the scenes bits and bobs. And do let me know down below what you want to see next. Hopefully if it's not as tricky as this, but I do like a challenge. Bye.